What is up guys, Joe Holland here. I am super, super excited for today's episode. It is a real treat for me, and I hope you guys feel the same way after you watch this video or if you already know, but I am fishing for the first time ever with my good buddy Josh from Precision Angling. Up, folks? One of my absolute favorite channels in Maine. Check him out. This guy is a grinder. That's the best way I put it. He's out there grinding all the time for all sorts of species of fish. He works really hard at it and he's got a lot of really good information. We've never hooked up before, but today we hooked up. I've tried a few times. Yeah. It's never worked. Something fell through every time, but. Usually I'm on a trip somewhere and he's yep. usually whacking some fish somewhere else. And you know how it is guys, it just never worked. But today, today is the first day of hopefully many where we're fishing together. And even though he's the main character in his channel, I found out today he's not the star of his channel. The no star way. of his channel's in that little shack right there. He brought his daughter Riley with, with him today and we're on the crappie fest. We're looking for big Maine crappie. And Maine crappie, you guys say, most people don't even know we have crappie. They, The first crappie I ever heard of in, in the state was about 25 years ago down in yeah. Southern Maine. Yep at Wardwell Pond, and now they're pretty much everywhere. Yep. You know, I don't know if it's bait bucket biologist, if the state's moving them, if it's Johnny crappy seed planting crappy seeds all over the state, state I don't know, but they're everywhere. They're everywhere. Yeah. Southern Maine all the way up into parts of Northern Maine. Northern Maine's got them already. I've heard as high as Millinocket, yeah, but I'm not sure. Yeah. We found some early ice. Here's Riley, by the way. Say hi, Riley. Hi. She's the star of that channel. She's gonna be the star of my channel, it looks like, yep. with the fish she's already caught and the fish she's gonna to catch too. This is a great example right here. Josh and I were just talking about a pond that's like a nothing pond. No disrespect to the people that live nearby or the people who, who fished here before, but if it didn't have crappie in it, it would have like 10 to 12 inch yellow perch, yep. maybe a couple pound uh, largemouth bass, maybe some pickerel yep. pound or two. Yep. It's like 100 acres or so. Yep. Now, I'm driving an hour and a half or more to get here. You know, we're out here on two to four inches of ice and we're catching gigantic crappie. So stay tuned, check out Josh's channel and hopefully you guys enjoy the show. Hopefully we catch something over 15 inches for you. All right, how long till this flag's up guys? What do you think? If they're here, hopefully, yeah, hopefully a couple minutes. I think we'll get, oh, there you go. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> I wish. You think we'll get two two other traps set before this one goes up? Okay. Never how, set traps here, I don't know. I, how I, far I, do you set it from the bottom? I'm trying to avoid the yellow perch, so I'm yeah. keeping them like three or four feet off bottom, five feet off bottom. Flags up. Really? That didn't take long, guys. Right, that's all you, right? Really? Hope they're going across. Just set this down. Yeah, it's off to the side race. It's on there. Can I get it? Uh, yeah, uh, real light hook set, Ray. I think something's on it. I'll take that for you. Oh, yeah, yeah, it looks like it. Is he there? No. Looks Maybe. like it. Yeah, he's there. Yeah. He's there. No, no, he's off. Yeah, he's off. Oh, he's there. He's there. Oh, it's a good one. Get him, Ray. Get him. Crappie. Oh, yeah. Look Get at that right. one. Nice. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo. Nice, right. Knuckles. Big one. Yeah, I think we're going to be busy, Joe. Look at the size of that one. Is that your biggest crappie ever? Probably. Great job. Close. That's a yeah, 14 and a half, 15. Yeah, he looks all of 15 inches. Munched it. Wow, <laughs> great job, Riley. Yeah, I Not even set up, folks. Just one trap in. Annihilated that shiner. Easy hook. Nice job, right? One, two, three. Nice one, two, three. Got it. Nice. Good one. Alright, All right, toss them back, right? That is a fantastic coffee to start the day with. Nice try. <laughs> a slab. Knuckles. That was awesome. What a way to start. Didn't even get the other trap in the water. Nope. I think it's going to be a busy one. Yeah. I don't think we're getting all our traps in. What do you nope. guys think? <laughs> no, if... I'm going to grab my tape measure so we can measure these two. I got yep. a feeling you were 15 inches on that. That, that was, yeah. yeah. That was, nice that was huge. Some people have fished their whole lives and never caught a crappie that big. Yep. And you just did it in the first minute that we were out here. Yep. 
Yeah, like after you hit them, sometimes they'll swim at you. And a crappie, like, you know how flat they are? Yeah. If they turn sideways, you're pulling against all that sideways. And then if they come, like, at you, it's just like a knife cutting through. So that's why, like, it doesn't feel like they're there. Then it feels like they're big, then it doesn't. Yeah. That's what makes it fun about crappie. So what's the bet now, guys? Do you think we can get this next trap in before that goes up? Probably not. If, they, if, if they're running to school, probably not. Early morning and late day for panfish is just yep. out of this world. Normally. Wow, look at how pretty it is out here. Yeah, this is a jumbo pond. Wow, it is so gorgeous. Beautiful this morning. Whoa, good one? Yeah, it was turning. Yeah, looks like a good one, right? Oh, nice what a slab. Ride. Oh, nice ride. Wow. Oh, and guess what, guys? My furthest one just went up. That's how it works. <laughs> What a giant! Wow, look at how pretty and gold that fish is. That's another probably, geez, that's over 13, right? Yep. Maybe bigger. Could be a 13. It's always the furthest one. Right? Isn't it? Like you leave one, the next one You have anything in there, Joe? It doesn't even have to be pliers like a. Oh, I got this. Yeah, that'll work. Oops, got it. Yeah, I always wonder, Riley, if it's because we're so loud and uh, the furthest one's quiet, doesn't scare the fish. But like when we walk near the other ones or talk, they can actually hear you. I never knew that until I put my camera down there and I was like, oh wow, they, it's so loud. Can I Oh, very nice. All right, two giants already. What do you think? Yes, you are. Good job. Good job. We got brook trout, pike, all the bass, crappie perch. What's your favorite fish to catch, Riley? Crappie or bass? Nice. I usually go a little bit further forward than the the spine, like halfway between the eye and the the spine for crappie. They eat most things head first, so usually right about there. Try not to catch the spine. I think I might have spined them. Man, is this exciting or what? Yeah, hopefully it's a good day. Yeah, yeah, it's already a good day. You got she got she got a monster crappie or PB crappie already. Wow. <laughs> Whoa, did he get you pretty good? Yeah. Holy cow. Okay. Was it the hook? No, it was like his bottom spine. Oh, okay. If you're not bleeding, you're not having a good time. All right, that's the way I like it. Look, look at everything too. Good motto to live by. If you're gonna be dumb, you better be tough. Yep. <laughs> yeah, we pretty much live by that motto. Yeah. Much over 15, I'd have to get. So let's lay them right down. And with crappy, you gotta measure them with the mouth closed, actually, to get an official. So, yeah, he's 15. 15? Nice. 15 right on the button. That's your fourth one at 15 inches. Yeah. That adds up to 60 inches and in four fish. Whacking. That is pretty amazing. You got fish. And they're heavy. They're pretty heavy too. Oh, there it goes. You can get it. No, no, go for it. Go for it. Right. Did you get another one? Uh, it popped twice. It was spinning. Oh, that was humming, right? That was humming. Woo! That was humming. Put my phone up, Dad. I'm not going. Are you recording? Yeah, on my phone. That looks like a good Dad, fighter. Whoa, another right good right one. Wow, another one over 15. Oh, you're big. Hold that baby up. <laughs> wow. Josh, you definitely brought a ringer. Oh, yeah, no, I told you. She's good luck. She is really good luck. And another one just went up. All right. All right, another flag up, another 15 plus inch. We don't even have to measure that, do we? He's 15. No. No. Yeah. So that's her. She's at 75 inches for five fish. Can she get to 100 today? Oh, it's spinning. It's you want it? Take it. Take it. You've been you you've been so good. Yeah, she's only missed one so far. Whoa, that's you way off to the that, side. That me. Here, I'll take it. Me. You got it. Yeah, that's way up. 
Wow, it took some line for just going up. Whoa, another giant nice. slab. That's probably the smallest of the day. Yeah, what's that one, about 14, 13 yeah. and a half? Yeah, I was say 13, 14. Yeah, that one's up again. And another oh. one up. Flag after flag. Holy cow. All right, Dad, do you want to get this one off? Yeah, I'll. Here, let's get a quick measurement for the smallest of the day okay, to see if she gets one. to 100 inches. That one is 13 and a half. Oh. All right, you want to go get another one? Yeah. Let's go. We got her running for flags now. That was just a little one, huh? 13 and a half? What do you think? Nothing, huh? Something's in the You think it's off to the side? Probably. It might be a perch. We might have to lift it up a little. Okay. Oh, what do you think? Oh, yep. He's there? Yep. Nice. Feels pretty decent. Hmm. Whoa, that one is round. Nice yeah, probably 13. Oh, well, maybe a little bigger. What do you think? Uh, probably 13. Yeah. 14. It's pretty sad we're calling those small. All right, I'm gonna set this. Just... Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. That's all right. He's good. All right, let's get a measurement while he's got his mouth shut. I'm all, right. all right, he's 14 and a quarter, tip to tip. 14 and 14 and a quarter, and <laughs> and here we are calling that small. Yeah. 14 and a quarter, Josh. Good problem. I like the way you put that. All right, we saved the bait. And when you get them deep like that, guys, you can still get them. I go through the side of the gills. And if Riley would just lift up on that line, just put a little tension on it. And you could just twist the hook. And there it is, there free just like that. So do you want to let them go? Yeah. All right, you've been doing such a good job letting them go. All right, so this is her sixth one. A 14 and a quarter. Nice, good job. What do you think? I'm loving this so much. <laughs> You're loving this crappy fishing. Good job. All right, Riley. Got me right there. Riley, you're getting stuck all over the Oh, man, we got to get you some fishing gloves. Oh, look, that last one's up again. You get a chance at that big one again. Yeah, right. spinning. It's spinning? You, you take it? No, you take it. What's it feeling like? That's good. Wow, it took a lot of line. Is it a crappie or a bass? Wow, that took a ton of line. Holy cow. Feels like a crappie. Whoa, it's big. Yep. It's big. It's giant. Ooh. It is giant. Another big one. Oh, I see that. You can get that one? Probably. Here, I can get it. Let's pop it real quick if you want. Oh, yeah, there you go. There you go. That popped easy. Oh, he's all twisted up. Wow, let's get a quick measurement on that one. Hey, what do you think, 15 again? Yeah. Are you getting tired of catching 15 inches? Nope. <laughs> I love the sound Dad, of it. Dad, look. All right, lay him right down. It doesn't hurt him too much when, you, when we close their mouth. He is 15 on the button, isn't he? Yeah. Maybe a 16th over, maybe 15th and one, 15 and one 16th. But who's counting? Beautiful golden crappie. Let's let this one go, huh? He's healthy. If we get one that bleeds, we should probably keep the next bleeder. Good job. We are so lucky in this state to have this fishery. Oh yeah. I mean, this is these are 15 inches. She's already got what five or six over 15. Six. She's got six over 15. The smallest was 13 and a half, we figured. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, a 14 and a quarter. And a 14 and a quarter. Now we're not we're not crappy geniuses or anything. You know, we're they're fairly new to Maine, but when I watch other people's YouTube videos from like out of state or all across the country, they're catching like 12 inches and calling them megas or giants. <laughs> and we haven't even caught a 12 incher yet. Everything's been over 12, so we're pretty, really fortunate, and this is just a little pond in the middle of nowhere, and there's a thousand of these ponds in Maine, so yep. we're very lucky. Very and lucky. and there, you're going to have that for your whole future. These 15 <laughs> inches. Oh, you got another flag. These 15 oh, inches. Oh, oh, when you're our age, how big are these 15 inches going to be? Oh, man. 
Alright, we got a couple fish. I might have to actually catch one of these fish. What do you think? Yeah, it's going. It's going? Yeah, oh, ho, 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 ho. That's spinning pretty good for a crappie. Yeah. Alright, I guess I'll catch this one, guys. You see that reel spinning? It's going to the side. We're going to stop it. We're going to give it a nice little hook set. Oh, yeah, he's there now. Head shaking. Head shaking. Feels pretty decent. Definitely. Oh, he's still there. Yeah, it's turning. It's turning and burning. Whoa. 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 Just barely got him hooked and it's a giant. <laughs> Look at that thing. What an absolute slab. They got two flags up over there. Let's get this back and, and get these traps reset. <laughs> Just barely hooked. A perch! What? This one is 15 on the button again. They are strong at 15. There's a good, good class of 15 inch fish. They're super gold and very blue. Let's uh, get him a breath of fresh air and then we're gonna let him go. The wrong way, he's too big to turn around that eight and a half inch hole. We're gonna turn him around, get him back down there. Nice, healthy fighters. Beautiful. You got another one? Oh man, all right, let me just drop this bait in the water so he doesn't die. This is crazy, guys. That's spinning? Can I get it? Yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Oh, I'm up. Oh, oh, oh. Is it a good one? Oh, yeah. Whoa, that's a wide one. Oh, yeah. Holy cow. Holy oh, cow. He swallowed that. Swallow it? Okay. Quick measurement on him? Yeah. You think he goes 15? I think he does. Yep. This one might be a little bigger. Yeah, it's a good 15 and a quarter. Yep. 15 and a quarter, exactly. Nice. Studs. 15 and a quarter, exactly. Studs. Those are giants. And then, one just so the viewers one. at home know, from meat to meat, he's five and a half? Five yeah. and a half, yep. Yeah. That's big. Oh. Keep this one on. No, this one I don't think was bleeding, so we could probably let this one go. We still haven't kept any. Um, normally, I don't keep the 15s because because I want I want them to the pond to do well. But there's obviously so many 15s in yeah. here. I'll let you let this one go if you want. Oh, there's the minnow. Should we get that minnow back? What do you think? He spit it up. We might as well put it back down there and catch another one. All right, All right there you go. snapping me back and forth. Very nice yeah. release. There we go. Another one. How many is that? Uh, Probably. Yeah. We're, we're in between 7 and 11. Oh, another flag just went up. Do you see that go up, Josh? Sweet. Just getting the garment on. And we got a flag up over here. It's one of Josh's flags, or Riley's flags. And they're over there pulling one of mine, so we're doing a little swap. Surprisingly, oh, the, the minnow's up in the hole. What are you doing up here? Look at that. There's a minnow in the hole. What's he doing? He knows, he knows he's in trouble if he goes down there. Oh, big head shake. Do I still have him? Big head shake, oh my gosh. Man, that feels more like a bass than a crappie he's shaking his head so much. Whoa, pure gold. Pure gold, folks. Look at that beauty. Wow. Wow. That is another nice one. That one's super long. Let's take a, let's get a measurement on him. 15, 15 and, 15 and, 15 and three quarters. 50 to three quarters. We're gonna let this one go. Geez, that one's over 15 too. Yep. If you wanna give him, just hold him in the water for a second. Get his gills underwater. 
There you go. It's not too cold where they're freezing or their eyeballs are freezing or anything. We're lucky there. It's like 28. All right, if you want to measure them, just lay them nice and flat. Wow, that is a big one. I didn't even notice that. Ready? Yeah. 50. Oh, can you put the, the end on it? There you go. Whoa, they're getting bigger, guys. We have 15 and a half. 15 nice. and 7 eighths. Awesome. 15 and 7 eighths. That's your new PB. Are you yeah. Joe, or is that from earlier? Oh, no, that just went up. <laughs> All right, right. Riley, that is an awesome crappie. 15 and 7 eighths. We're getting there. All right, we got another flag. Oh, man, that one was running. Oh, maybe he popped it. That was running like crazy. I can't tell if he popped it. Keep him, keep some. I think he's coming at you. No, I see him on the Garmin. I think he's on the you lose him? Nope. No, oh, there he is. I can see him on the Garmin screen. You're gaining on him. Keep going. I think he's on, but he feels like Yeah, he's right. coming way around to the right. He's oh yeah, he's there's okay, that's where we started. That's how much line he took. Oh yeah, here. Another ten foot. Wow, Whoa! Oh, awesome. <laughs> nice right. <laughs> One after another. Josh, we could see it on the Garmin. Oh, awesome. on, the, on the live scope. See it right. Holy cow, that thing is huge. Oh my god. That's phenomenal. That is out of this world big. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Alright. He is, what's he go, 15, 15 plus? Yeah, 15. 15 and a half. 15 and a half. Yeah, 15 and a half. Fifteen and a half, mouth closed. Wow, another good one. High fives. And you don't have a flag in the water. We don't have anything in, do we? We have two. You guys have two. There's got to be something wrong with those two. You might want to check them. <laughs> out of our eight traps, we have six out that need need some assistance. There's a monster crappie on the screen. There was a second ago. Yeah. All right. Another Beautiful, another right? solid release. You might even be able to see them on the live scope. We only have four, three traps in. Yeah. Josh, you might be the main character of your channel, but I think you got a new star. Oh, I know. Oh yeah. my God. I think, I think that's the biggest one. <laughs> what? I think that's the what? One so what? Look at the size of that one. <laughs> that <one's gotta laughs> that is a giant. That is a giant. <laughs> That's got oh my gosh, Riley, how are you doing this? <laughs> she is the best luck charm I've ever seen fishing. All right, I'll be shocked if that one's under 16. He's over. If he's not, he's close. Awesome. All right, let's get that hook out. Ah, he's no, wow, dang. 15 and almost three quarters. Okay. Hey, he looks a little deeper maybe. Yeah, he's six inches across. Yeah, still, that's a stud right. He's a solid six inches across. That's the biggest one by far, weight-wise. Yep. He's got a big old fillet on him. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> awesome job, Ray. Awesome Amazing. Job. All right. All right, toss her back. All right. Ready? Already. See ya. Awesome, right? Knuckles. Oh. Good job, guys. Almost all the traps are out of the water. Oh, oh boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Could be off to the side. Got him? You don't feel like nothing. I think the reel might have hit the ice. Yeah, it's probably Right before we got here. Yeah. Not nothing. Oh, oh, drop it right back down. I bet you catch him before, before we even get the flag set. Well, I'm all tangled up here. Yeah, you have caught some giants today. You're having an amazing day. Congratulations. <laughs> All right. Huh? Oh, you got a phone call? <laughs> yeah, it's my mom. <laughs> That's your mom? Yeah. Hi, mom. <laughs> Hello. She, this is Joe. She is really catching giants today. Oh, I believe it. Like crazy giants. I don't think I've ever seen <laughs> anyone, let alone anyone under age 21, catch fish like this. <laughs> Uh, that's Riley. That She's right? definitely the good luck charm. All right, folks, what we're doing is we're using, these were labeled as medium shiners. Um, 
What do you think, Joe? Three inches, maybe? Yeah, probably three. Go three. Yeah. I'm using 10 pound fluorocarbon. Joe's using quite a bit more than I am. I have about 20 inches on. Joe has probably close to three feet. Yeah, I think I, I put, I'm still using 10, but I think I put like six or eight foot. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I'm doing a little split shot to a swivel to the main line. Um, this is a size four Gamakatsu octopus hook. Nothing fancy there. And we are, um, and we're dropping these shiners. We're in about 20 feet of water. We're dropping them down probably 15 feet. So the shiners are about five feet off bottom, plus or minus, uh, cause we don't want to be after the perch. Um, if we set these all the way down on bottom, like a foot off bottom, we'd be into them eight, 10, 12 inch perch all day long and we'd be burning through a bait. So we're keeping them up like five, six, seven feet. And uh, we're getting these crappie that are coming through these deep holes, you know, suspended in the, you know, seven, eight foot uh, mark. And we've been hammering them. It has been a crush fest this morning. <laughs> it has been nonstop. We have uh, three flags out right now. I just got mine all set up. It's been nonstop action for what, two and a half hours? Yeah, you, there's J Josh's right jig rod there. box right there. It hasn't been opened. There's mine, hasn't even made it out of the sled yet. Nope. No, it's been all traps. I was planning on doing a little jigging, but uh, for me at least, this is far exceeded what I was expecting today. Yeah, me it's, too. It's, it's been nonstop. I've, I've never seen anything like it. The amount of giant fish is just out of this world. Like, I didn't keep any 15s the last time I was here because I thought it might hurt the pond, but now looking at it, I mean, you can keep all, you can keep a handful of 15s, yeah, yeah. no problem. Yeah, yeah. We haven't kept anything yet. Uh, I ate two yesterday, so that was enough for me. We might keep a couple if we get some bleeders today, but for the most part, we're just here for catch and release and a lot of fun. State of Maine does not protect these fish. They actually have a negative attitude towards crappie. I don't understand why, but yeah, they, just they because they weren't here 500 years ago when the state made their game laws, I guess. Yeah, some of the bigger ponds can withstand a no limit, but some of the smaller ponds that we have, they can get cleaned out in a season. Your last one fi okay. finally last went up. One, yep. Yeah, like you look at today, Riley's already, she's, she's already iced probably 10, 15 inches. I have a couple, Josh has got a couple, and you could you could hurt a pond in a hurry if you, if you weren't a sportsman, so. So we're catching release for the most part. We'll keep a feed if we want to, and we are having fun doing it. Hopefully the state starts protecting these fish and realizes what a world-class fish and fishery we have in the state of Maine. Whoa. Good one? Yeah. It was, it was fooling on her. Come on, please be up. Yeah, that one's tugging. That one's tugging. That one's tugging. Just went up too. Yeah, he took out a ton of line for a crappie. Oh, That's she said, please be on. Uh-oh. Is he still on? I think so. Okay. Yeah, he's on. He's on. He's on. That's got to be close to that. Whoa, oh, there's a little one. one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's got to be the smallest of the day. Smallest of the day. You got it. We were wondering when you were going to let us catch, catch it, or when you weren't going to catch a giant. That's our smallest of the day, folks. All right. What do you, now you, the cool thing is in other states, they would get away with calling that. A slab. a slab or yeah. a mega or big he's over 10 inches i mean that's like a really good eater size right there that 10 to 10 to 13 inch i can't believe how fast that guy was running he yeah. must have had some competition it but it's pretty they're super gold here and they have that blue tint if you turn them you if you turn awesome. it just right all right let's get a measurement just so we know what our biggest and our smallest was for the day Look at how much line that took. Josh is, yeah, he's going to something. You got like another 50 yards. All right, if you want to lay him right down, we'll get a measurement. All right, it's probably smallest of the day. Oh, geez, he's bigger than I thought. He's 12? 12 and a quarter, 12 and a half. 12 and a half, and we're like, we're like disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're like calling him small and making fun of him. Yep. That poor old guy. He'll, he'll be a mean, he'll be a mean fish in a couple of years, though. Yeah, give him what, two years? Yep. yep. All right. Are we gonna throw them or are we gonna keep them? Yeah, let's throw this one, let them All grow. Right. Let them grow, right? Yep. All right, bud. Nice, good release. Ooh, big one coming in from the side. Big one coming in from the side. I'm gonna see if I can get his attention. Oh, two good ones. We're gonna have a bite here in a second. Oh, little one's racing in. He's get. Oh, there's a giant. I'm gonna try to get it away from the little guy. Oh, the little guy's all over it. He's gonna bite. There's a big one behind them. The little guy just bit, I think. Yeah, he's on it. 
Watch this. Look. <laughs> Two came in and one was giant. And and the little guy got to it first. Go ahead, take him, Riley. Yeah, there's a there's a monster down there. He just raced in, got ahead of him. You got him? Yep. We'll see him on the screen in a second. There's like three good ones down there. There's a big one to the side. Oh man. That, I think that's the one you're fighting right there that just showed up. Yeah, probably. Oh, it's oh, a little guy. Yeah, I told you there was a little guy got there first. He's stopping. So oh, there he goes again. All right, this could be the one you're looking for. Got him? Is he still on? Yep. I don't know, the last one that ran a while was a small guy. Yeah. So let's hope this isn't the same. Either way, it's a good fish. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is he good? Oh, it's ah. a big yellow. <laughs> big highfalutin yellow. Yeah, I'm not touching that. Nope. Oh, I got one. <laughs> All right, how many stripes on them? Ready? Let's count the stripes. They're so dark. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Is there another one by his head? Maybe nine, nine, right there. Nine striper. Wow. Nine stripes on him. That's crazy. Let's count those again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, there's nine. <laughs> wow. I don't know. That was coming. <laughs> I thought about it, but I didn't know if we were going to reset. Oh, first pickle. What? What is that thing? First pickle I've ever seen out of here. What is that? Don't let that. Looks like it's straight down and just barely tripped. But that doesn't mean there's oh, not oh, a... It's on. It's going oh, there you go. It's going. Yep. Anything home? Feels like something small. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, he got me really good. Well, this time of year when it's cold, you don't really clot up as quick. Oh man, that'll leave a blood trail. We'll be able to follow that right back to the shack. Yep. <laughs> Dr. Josh coming around. It's going to stop the bleeding. Almost as good as duct tape. Perfect. Thanks, bud. Should, should hold it How'd you cut that? Yeah, it just kind of broke. Oh, okay. I was going to say that. That cut like awesome. <laughs> all right, we're all patched up. I got pickled. The little guy got me. If it was something bigger, I probably would have given it a lot more respect, but it usually takes one time a year to learn my lesson. Oh, got him. I am, uh, that one I should Ooh, that feels pretty decent. It looks like a good Yeah. It, it didn't look huge down there, but. Oh, nice one. Yeah. That'll work. Work. Not a good bit. Not a bad one to start with. No, that's always fun on the jig rod. There was another one a little bit bigger down there. He's he's over 12. Got him on that Northland Slurpee. Yeah, that might I love these things. It's like a, yeah, it's, yeah. It's like a it's, it looks like a tube, but it's got the jig head in it, but it looks like a perch. Got him. Wow, he's fighting pretty good. Big head shakes. Whoa, that's a big slab. Big slabber. Wicked crappy. Wicked Staven, big old crappy. He smashed that Slurpee. Didn't really hit too hard. Now he's got an injury there. He's been caught before a long time ago. Well, that's another, another big one. He is right at 15. 15 inch slab. All right, I like the way he acted. Let's get him back. Well, guys, this is great for me because I get to watch another YouTuber work his butt off to get his viewers great footage. He's got 
a camera out here. He's got an underwater camera there, a panner there. He's got the boss over here telling him, his director telling him what to do. Yep. And he is working hard to get his viewers some good footage on that underwater camera that he's testing out for, uh, for a review. Definitely, if you guys have not checked out Josh's channel, check it out. He does a lot of really cool stuff where he'll build his own jig rods. You know, if he needs an electric box for ice fishing, he builds it. Uh, pours his own lures, makes his own spinner baits. Yeah. What else have I seen on your channel? You pretty much make everything, right? Yeah, you pretty much get the highlights. Most of my lures. I haven't bought a store-bought lure in years. Uh, I make trolling spoons, uh, all this type of stuff, jigs, little crappie stuff, spinner baits. Um, gonna get into making crank baits uh, uh, next year. Uh, some big stuff for pike. Yeah, and he's always Easier. he's always given good, honest reviews like that. That uh, Strike Master. He's got a lot of reviews on the Strike Master laser, uh, the light flight, I guess, light right? Flight, yep. yep. So which. <laughs> I'm probably gonna end up picking one of those up after trying his. Oh, I'm yeah, really impressed. They're hard to beat. I'm impressed. It's it's a cutter, you know, instead of just a chipper like my K drill is. So, I'll give the K drill another another good uh, honest try, and then if it's not quite what I'm looking for, then I'll switch over to the Strike Master. Yeah, they're hard to beat. I yeah. highly recommend them. All right, guys, I want to show you what actually happens to a body once you catch too many crappy over 15 inches. <laughs> she is out like a light. <laughs> Hasn't moved in almost an hour. Yeah. I think we may have possibly worn her out. It's amazing how much energy kids have. <laughs> but when you get them out on the ice and they just run back and forth, back and forth in the cold and they catch a bunch of big fish, you can actually wear them down. So don't be afraid to take more kids out fishing with you. No. All right, Riley, I'm going to show you a trick. When you don't, when you don't bring a bait bucket, you got to make do with what you have. So that's my new bait bucket. Yeah. So I just got to remember not to drink anything, yeah. <laughs> not to try to drink coffee later after you guys leave. There. Let's see. Oh man, I hope I remember to wash this cup. It's hard to see. Oh, there they are. It's hard to see with a black bottom in the cooler. That is going to do it for Riley and Josh. They are taking off. Um, I think I might stick around and just try to poke around and look at some different depths on this pond and see if there's anything over 15 and three quarters. Uh, great day today, guys. You guys smashed them. Fantastic day. Thanks for being on the channel. No, thanks and, for having uh, us. Really appreciate it. I can't wait to fish with you guys again. Yeah, no, hopefully it was first of many. I agree. Heck of a day. <laughs> You're dragging your cleat. <laughs> Oh, she's a mess. There you go. You earned it, right? So you definitely wore her out on those oh, giant yeah. graphics. Got him. That's a good one. That's a good fish. I had to put it right in the dirt. Oh. He's got the drag going. What are we looking at here? Oh, it's a bass. It is a nice bass. I caught you a delicious bass. All right. <laughs> All right. I was wondering when I was going to catch a bass. Man, they're, they're pretty hard to catch yet. That was a... Uh, I put it right in the dirt and it drove them crazy because it thought whatever my bait was was getting away from them. So, nice bass. We'll get him right back down there. Sweet. All right, guys. That is going to do it for me. I am stoked to be out on the ice, stoked for the season ahead of me. Got big plans this year, a lot of, uh, a lot of big trips. So feel free, leave a comment, ask any questions you want, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Really appreciate you viewing the video and really appreciate you hitting that subscribe or like button. Thanks again, guys. See you on the next one.